California-based startup SciQuantum is one of the many companies working to make large-scale quantum computing a reality. New class of computation that I think can dramatically change most aspects of, of industry, commerce, and science. Scientists just cracked the code to computing across parallel universes, and it's terrifying. We all know that digital computers changed virtually every aspect of our life. Well, the arrival of quantum computers could be even more historic than that. Right now, in labs around the world, quantum computers are doing something that should be impossible. They're borrowing power from alternate realities at least, according to some interpretations of quantum physics, to solve problems that would take our best supercomputers billions of years. Michio Kaku says, we have crossed a line we can never uncross. These machines don't just compute faster. They compute in dimensions we can't even see. Here's what has shocked him, and might as well shock you. Quantum computers might be about to crack every password, break every code, and solve every unsolvable problem on Earth. In minutes, the race isn't to build them anymore. The race is to control them before they control us. And we might already be too late. Kaku describes quantum computers as machines that don't just process information. They operate in multiple realities simultaneously. Using qubits instead of classical bits, these machines can calculate countless possibilities at once, making them exponentially faster than even our most powerful supercomputers. Here's the mind-bending part. While your laptop processes information, like reading a book one word at a time, quantum computers are reading every possible book in every possible language across infinite parallel universes, all at the same time. In 2022, IBM released a 433 qubit quantum chip, and that's just the beginning. As these machines grow in scale and stability, they're solving problems previously considered impossible. We're talking about breaking encrypted data in seconds, designing miracle drugs by simulating molecular interactions, and even recreating the conditions of black holes or the Big Bang itself. But Kaku isn't just excited about the speed. He's fascinated by what happens when you combine quantum computing with artificial intelligence, and it might as well leave you speechless. Here's where things get really wild. While most AI today runs on classical computers, researchers are now building quantum-powered AI systems that operate beyond our wildest imagination. Quantum AI could one day solve problems we didn't even know existed. These systems are beginning to evolve beyond human instruction, and it may eventually create new methods, write original code, and adapt in ways that defy expectation. Kaku believes this fusion will unlock capabilities that seem almost magical. Picture AI systems that can predict stock market crashes by analyzing infinite probability outcomes across every possible timeline simultaneously. We're talking about machines that could design revolutionary new materials by simulating atomic behavior across parallel dimensions, watching how molecules dance together in realities we can't even perceive. These quantum AI systems could tackle climate change by modeling countless environmental scenarios at once, finding solutions that exist in the overlap between infinite possible futures. And yes, that's both thrilling and terrifying. Because when machines can think across multiple realities, what happens to our understanding of logic, creativity, and consciousness itself? Current breakthroughs in quantum machine learning are already reshaping what's possible. Quantum neural networks have achieved significantly higher effective dimensions than their classical counterparts, demonstrating these results on today's hardware. IBM research confirms that quantum computers have the potential to boost machine learning performance and may eventually power efforts in fields from drug discovery to fraud detection. Google's new quantum chip called Willow 
significantly reduces errors as it scales up, representing a major breakthrough in quantum error correction. Willow is a significant step toward creating a large-scale, error-corrected quantum computer, and it goes beyond mere theory. With the support of about 300 organizations, the UN proclaimed 2025 to be the International Year of Quantum Science and Technology, indicating that quantum AI is progressing from science fiction to reality. AI is already becoming more efficient and environmentally friendly thanks to quantum-inspired compression software. But theoretically, quantum AI could achieve something far more extraordinary. Quantum superposition learning, where AI systems exist in multiple learning states simultaneously, absorbing contradictory information and finding patterns that classical AI would miss entirely. Scientists speculate that quantum AI consciousness might emerge when these systems process information across quantum dimensions. Consider artificial intelligence that not only anticipates the future, but also simultaneously experiences every potential future before selecting the best course of action across probability space. These systems could theoretically develop quantum intuition making leaps of logic that seem impossible because they're processing information from parallel computational realities. The financial industry is anticipated to become one of the earliest adopters of commercially useful quantum computing technologies within the next few years. But quantum AI could theoretically go beyond prediction. It might achieve quantum market synthesis simultaneously analyzing every possible market condition across infinite timelines to identify investment opportunities that exist only in the quantum overlap between realities. Most mind-blowing of all, researchers speculate about quantum memory networks where AI systems could access information from quantum parallel processing states, essentially downloading knowledge from alternate versions of themselves operating in different probability dimensions. But quantum computing's most mind-blowing application might be the one that makes us question what it means to be human in the first place. Kaku believes we're on the verge of merging quantum technology with our minds in unprecedented ways. Brain-computer interfaces powered by quantum processors potentially upload aspects of consciousness into quantum systems, a concept Kaku discusses as a future possibility. In his book, The Future of the Mind, Kaku explores the radical notion of quantum consciousness transfer. The idea is digitally transferring your thoughts, memories, and entire personality into a quantum computer, effectively achieving true digital immortality. It's a bold vision but the science is real. Organizations like DARPA, Neuralink, and quantum research labs worldwide are racing to map the brain with quantum precision. Soon, Kaku speculates we may be able to save our dreams like quantum video files, perfectly preserving every emotion and sensation for eternal playback. Even so, lost memories could be restored through quantum reconstruction piecing together fragments of our past from quantum probability states. Most incredibly, we could communicate brain to brain through quantum entanglement, sharing thoughts and emotions instantaneously across any distance. This is black mirror reality right there. We might just be entering an era where death may no longer be an end just a quantum state transition. And what about quantum medical miracles? These quantum breakthroughs in consciousness wouldn't stop at the mind. They would transform how we heal our bodies entirely. This might as well make us think if our next doctor isn't a person, but a quantum powered nanomachine operating inside your cells. Kaku says the future of medicine lies in quantum nanotechnology, microscopic machines that can manipulate matter 
at the quantum level. Quantum-enhanced nanoparticles can deliver drugs with impossible precision, reducing side effects while boosting effectiveness exponentially. But here's the game changer. Quantum computers can simulate biological processes in ways classical computers never could. This opens up possibilities that sound like pure magic. We're talking about designing personalized medicines by quantum modeling your unique DNA, creating treatments that work specifically for your genetic makeup with precision that borders on the supernatural. These quantum systems could help us understand and perhaps even slow or reverse aging by exploring cellular decay at the quantum scale. Most remarkably, they could eliminate diseases by quantum engineering immune responses, essentially reprogramming your body's defense systems like updating software code. Tools like CRISPR, powered by quantum computing, let scientists edit DNA like quantum code in a cosmic program. So, Kaku thinks we're heading toward a future where medicine is quantum customized for each person based on their unique quantum biological signature. And aging? Kaku believes quantum computers will help us understand how time affects matter at the quantum scale. With that knowledge, we might not just slow aging, we could reverse it entirely. The reality is even more incredible. Quantum sensors enable new possibilities in biomedical applications due to their high sensitivity, with several types showing high potential for imaging and disease detection and diagnosis. Quantum sensors could measure the electric fields in a neuronal synapse, track a single ion moving through a cell membrane, or record the transfer of proteins between the smaller organelles inside a cell. Processes that are nearly impossible to observe with traditional technology. Quantum sensors can detect minute changes in biological systems with unprecedented sensitivity, making them ideal for identifying biomarkers associated with diseases before symptoms even appear. Quantum magnetic sensors can detect the tiniest magnetic fields generated by brain activity, potentially diagnosing conditions like Alzheimer's decades before clinical symptoms manifest. Nanoscale biopsy techniques are emerging that can detect cancer with a simple blood draw, making the process less invasive and more accurate. But quantum nanotechnology goes beyond detection. Imagine quantum-guided nanobots that can perform molecular-level surgery, removing individual cancer cells while leaving healthy tissue completely untouched. Scientists are investigating how more intricate simulations of molecule behaviors and effective protein folding modeling made possible by quantum computing will speed up drug discovery. Strong algorithms like Grover's algorithm, which can search unsorted databases faster than traditional algorithms and possibly find new drug compounds in days as opposed to decades, have been made possible by quantum computing. Scientists theorize that quantum field fluctuations within our bodies might influence everything from neural firing patterns to cellular regeneration. Doctors could predict diseases before they arise and tailor treatments at the subatomic level by mapping these quantum biological signatures, allowing medicine to be genuinely tailored to your individual quantum blueprint. Around the globe, governments and corporations are sprinting toward quantum supremacy. Kaku calls it the quantum gold rush, a race not just for faster computers, but for control over reality itself. The US, China and Europe are investing hundreds of billions. IBM's quantum chips, Microsoft's topological qubits, and China's quantum satellite breakthroughs are just the beginning. Quantum encryption could make traditional spying obsolete. Quantum simulations could design new materials and map climate change in real time. But there's indeed a darker possibility. Quantum decryption could break every security system on Earth overnight. Terrifying, right? 
Think of quantum supremacy as the ultimate digital superpower. And only one country can have it first. They could crack all existing encryption instantly, reading every secret message, accessing every protected database, and rendering privacy obsolete overnight. These quantum-powered nations could simulate nuclear weapons without ever conducting a single physical test. Understanding destruction at the quantum level, they could control global financial systems through quantum algorithms that predict and manipulate market movements across infinite probability scenarios. Most terrifyingly, they could predict and manipulate economic markets across parallel probability spaces, essentially gaming the system by accessing information from alternate timelines where different economic decisions were made. That's why Kaku emphasizes quantum ethics. These technologies are too powerful to be left to ambition alone. But perhaps the most mind-bending breakthrough is the quantum internet itself. Kaku describes a future where quantum entanglement enables instant correlation. Quantum communication is unhackable because any attempt to intercept quantum information destroys it instantly. But more than that, quantum networks could allow us to process information across infinite parallel realities, sharing computational power with alternate versions of ourselves. Imagine downloading knowledge directly from quantum clouds, accessing information that exists in probability states rather than fixed data, or communicating with quantum AI systems that think across multiple universes at once. Beyond communication, these networks will theoretically enable a quantum sensing revolution, quantum sensors detecting gravitational waves, mapping underground resources, and creating navigation systems that work without GPS. These networks could potentially form a global quantum sensing web, detecting minute changes in Earth's magnetic field or even dark matter interactions. Perhaps most remarkably, researchers theorize that quantum time synchronization could achieve accuracy to attoseconds, enabling perfect coordination between global financial markets, scientific instruments, and autonomous systems across continents with unprecedented precision. The quantum internet isn't just changing how we communicate, it's fundamentally reshaping our relationship with reality itself. We're not just dreaming about quantum futures anymore. We're living in the early quantum age. The ideas Dr. Michio Kaku once spoke of as distant possibilities are materializing in labs, startups, and research centers worldwide. Quantum computers that think across parallel universes. Quantum AI that transcends human intelligence. Quantum medicine that could make us immortal. We're standing at a crossroads where science fiction becomes quantum fact. But here's Kaku's warning. Quantum technology is advancing faster than our ability to understand its consequences. We're building machines that could solve any problem, cure any disease, or break any system. But we're also creating tools that could fundamentally alter what it means to be human. Are we on the verge of unlocking our quantum evolution? Or are we tampering with the fabric of reality itself? Will we control the quantum future? Or will quantum systems control us? Because one thing's absolutely certain, the quantum revolution isn't waiting for us to be ready. So, if you're the kind of person who wants to witness the birth of quantum civilization, Stick around, smash that like and subscribe button, and don't blink. You might miss the moment when quantum computing changes everything forever.